In this video, what we're going to be talking about is partial derivatives. So what I have here is a function of two variables, f of x equals 2x squared minus y squared, and I'd like to find the signs of the partial derivatives at the point 2, excuse me, negative 2, 2. All right, well, let's orient ourselves on the graph a little bit. What the heck is going on? So roughly speaking, we are somewhere around here. So negative 2x, negative 2y. And we're thinking about what happens as we move first in the x direction and then in the y direction. So let's think about this first. We are increasing x. So if you want to think about it, that means we are following this line right here. And we're thinking about what's happening to our function. Well, our function is decreasing. And since our function is decreasing, we would expect the sign of this partial derivative to be negative. On the other hand, if I decide I want to be moving in the y direction, I want to increase y, it's like I'm following a line that looks like this. And as I move along the function in that direction, it looks like my function is increasing. So I expect my partial derivative with respect to y to be positive. All right, once we've done that, let's actually estimate both partial derivatives using h equals 0.1. So at this point, if you're not familiar with it, look in our textbook about the definition of each of these partial derivatives. So you can say, ah, that's where the h comes from. We want to estimate first off f prime, excuse me, f sub x at negative 2, negative 2. And that will be approximately equal to, well, what we want to do is we want to look at the function and increase in x a little bit. So our x component changes by 0.1. Our y component doesn't change and we want to subtract off where we were at the original point, negative 2, negative 2. And finally, just like a difference quotient in calculus, we want to divide by the change in x. So what I have here is f of negative 1.9, oops, don't want a parentheses yet, negative 2, minus f of negative 2, negative 2, all over 0.1. If you plug this stuff into the function, what you'll get is 3.22 for the first expression, and then minus 4 for the second expression, over 0.1, and this comes out to negative 7.8. So we think of our function decreasing at a rate of negative 7.8 as we move in the positive x direction. We can do this again, finding the partial with respect to y. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, all right, now I am changing my y component a little bit. So it's negative 2 plus 0.1 with respect to y, minus f of negative 2, negative 2. Let's just be careful here. These two calculations are separate. And let's not forget to divide by, oops, I'm doing in purple. Switch that to back to black, 0.1. So this is going to be f of negative 2, negative 1.9, minus f of negative 2, negative 2, all over 0.1. And that will be 4.39 minus 4 over 0.1. And that comes out to positive 3.9. So in other words, we have another piece of evidence that as we move in the positive y direction from this point, our function is moving up. In fact, it's moving up at a rate of 3.9. So this was an example of how to look at partials and find their signs from the graph, and how to estimate partials using the limit definition.